Now to continuing coverage on the lingering impacts from Helene. The death toll from the storm mounts to you know, continues to mount. That is now in North Carolina alone. 95 deaths were attributed to the storm. Authorities are still looking to identify 13 victims. Drownings were the leading cause of death, followed by landslides and blunt force injuries. Now, some residents who were forced to flee rising waters from Helene are actually heading back to find their homes ransacked. Harrison Grubb spoke with one woman who evacuated from Asheville. Jackie Fell and her husband were in their Asheville home when Hurricane Helene devastated the area. We were trapped for about five days with all the down trees and power lines. We couldn't get out. When they finally could, they decided to go stay with their daughter in the Triangle. As soon as we could, we were like, okay, we have no water, no power. Why are we staying here? After leaving, Fell got an unexpected text from one of her neighbors. Hey, by the way, your garage is like halfway open. She believes thieves got inside trying to steal copper. They took all of his power tools that that were light, um, a bunch of other equipment, and then they had a pile of other things that they were piling up to take, but I think they got spooked because they left it. But while she's disheartened about the theft, her focus is on helping her community. As an artist in the River Arts District, her studio is one of the few untouched by Helene's floodwaters. About 80% is decimated. It's just gone. To help those who lost so much, she's donating all the sales she makes from this print called Rekindling to the River Arts District Fund. They are raising money to help these artists rebuild, find new temporary spaces. Despite the widespread impacts, Fell has no doubt the city will recover. We are a community. We will be back for sure. Fell tells me they have filed a police report. That was Harrison Grubb reporting.